I just paid $31,000 for one box of comics that are all grails, and it's got my heart beating a little faster than normal. I haven't had this kind of physical reaction to comic books since probably like the first time I saw an X-Men number one. There's something about seeing these books all together in one place in the same exact condition that they were in when they rolled off the press decades ago. And they're all 9.8 whites. They're all grails of some kind. And I can't wait to show them with you guys. So I paid 80% of fair market value for these books, which is a crazy margin because, you know, I have overhead, packing, shipping, listing, employees, the state of the market, all of that. I mean, 80% is, is a crazy slim margin. But my intention is to offer these books up for trade. So if you're interested in doing a trade, usually what I do is I add about 20% to the value of the book. So if it's a $1,000 book, I'll need $1,200 in trade value because... I'm taking on a whole bunch of more work. I have to, you know, trade one book for maybe 10 or 20 books and then pack, list, ship, you know, all of the, the resource and everything behind that. But every time you do a successful trade, it increases your margin a little bit. So at the 80%, and then if I trade them all, uh, you know, I, I should do okay. So if you're interested in a trade, shoot me the list of slabs that you have available to brisecomics at gmail.com. All my contact info is down below. And then head over to brisecomics.com to see if it's still available. So if it's sold out, if you go to BriceComics.com, it'll say sold out if the trade or if it's sold has already happened. But if it's still available there, it, it, it's still available. Um, also, if you're interested in selling your comics, you're interested in selling your grails, you know, give me a shot. Let me make you an offer. I think, you know, I can do really good on these big boy books like this. Like, I think if you were to sell these books at Heritage, I believe they take a 20% buyer's uh, premium and then a 10% seller's premium, which is 30%. But, you know, I know you can negotiate when you have like big grails and stuff but I don't know you know how much so I, I think I'm very very competitive and the kicker is is that you get paid right away if you go to heritage it could take forever for you to finally get your payout and with me I had these books overnight shipped from the guy and wire transfer into his account the next day we're talking like one day and he's got the money in his account which is a, a great service i think it's a really valuable service and i would love to work with you for regular books i can offer more around 60 percent but uh, just shoot me a list and we'll go from there while you're at the website don't forget to sign up for the newsletter we have an awesome giveaway this month just for signing up for the newsletter at bricecomics.com it's where you also get first access to uh, new trades and new books like this when they come through the shop and follow me over on instagram and whatnot we have a link down in the description for $15 towards your first purchase on whatnot. We're going to be dropping more of those Ultimate Spider-Man ones for a dollar in the foreseeable future for my whatnot shows. And lastly, if you subscribe, comment, and like this video, you're entered to win two slabs this month for the YouTube giveaway. Let's turn this camera around and take a look at these grails. First up, this is actually not part of the collection that I just bought, but I just wanted to show that it is available for trade as well. Amazing Spider-Man 129, 9.8 white pages, almost a perfect cut and wrap, about as good as it gets for the first appearance of the Punisher Star Wars number one so here we're starting with the $31,000 collection we have Star Wars number one 9.8 white pages I've actually don't think I've ever seen this one come through the shop G.I. Joe real American hero number one 9.8 white pages Amazing Spider-Man 299 custom label newsstand edition 9.8 white pages Iron Man 128, 9.8 white pages from 1979, double signed by Bob Sharon and John Romita. Uh, really cool to see this newsstand edition. Amazing Spider-Man 361, 9.8 white. This one is signed and sketched by Mark Bagley. Check out that awesome metallic carnage sketch here with the custom label absolutely gorgeous amazing spider-man 316 98 white pages of course new stand edition signed by the todd father for the official first appearance cover appearance of uh, venom incredible hulk 340 signed by todd mcfarland with the custom label 9.8 white pages of course how about a 340 newsstand 9.8 but it doesn't stop there we've got another newsstand 9.8 340 this one with the custom label amazing spider-man 300 9.8 signed by todd mcfarland with the custom label this is probably the most valuable book 
uh, of the whole batch. I think about five thousand dollars or so for this gem. It's interesting to see multiples up next to each other. Like um, you know, not all ASM 300s are created equal. There's a lot of variance in the you know color strike and things like that. But um, these ones are actually both really good. There's also differences in like wraps and stuff like that so um it's interesting especially to see them side by side so here's just a custom label 9.8 off white to white and another 9.8 white asm 300 with the venom custom label on that one now these were surprising so when th these ones came through marcus and i looked at it and we were like does this look like the other ones that have come through like doesn't this look like an incredibly dark color strike on these. And I think that these are actually exceptional color strikes. The backs are darker. It, it maybe they, maybe these all came from a chunk cause they're all exceptionally dark. So uh, 252, 9.8 whites with the custom label. We got one, two, and three. And they're all very similar with this super, super deep dark colors just absolutely stunning all right now we're going to finish it off with some modern books amazing spider-man number one from 2014 this is the alex ross sketch cover i believe it's the one in 200 marcus if you could confirm that on the screen signed by alex ross and stan lee with the retired stan lee custom label first cameo appearance of cindy moon who later becomes silk we also have a Superior Spider-Man number one, the J. Scott Campbell edition. Uh, and this one is also signed by J. Scott Campbell and Stan Lee for Superior Spider-Man number one from 2013. Ultimate Fallout 4 custom label, first print, 9.8, first appearance of Miles Morales. Nyx number three with the custom label, first appearance of X-23, 9.8 white. Spider-Gwen 1, this is the Adam Hughes 1 in 100 variant cover for the first solo series for Spider-Gwen with the custom label. Amazing Spider-Man 797, this is the design variant cover signed by Stan Lee. This is a really cool book, Amazing Spider-Man 700, 9.8 white pages. This is the 1 in 200 Steve Ditko hidden gem variant signed by Stan Lee. So the story goes that this there was two covers for Amazing Fantasy 15. I do you guys can someone put in the comments is that true? Is that true that there was originally two and they picked one like why would they make this cover and then go with the other one? Like they're so similar. Um I just that story just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And another copy of Amazing Spider-Man 1 signed by Stan and Alex Ross. And that's it. It's short and sweet. Just, a, you know, a very powerful box of slabs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, as always, for sticking with me to the end of the video. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed this eye candy as much as I do. You know, I've always thought that whenever I do go to retire, you know, I will take, like, I'll go out with a collection and this would be, I wish I was ready to retire right now because I would make this purchase for the business and then oh, retire. And that, yep, that collection stays in the collection. I mean, all of these books at some point, uh, almost all of them will be in my personal collection. But the thing is, the reason I don't need to buy an ASM 309.8 right now is I just got three, you know, and at some point in the future, I'll get three more and I get the thrill of opening it like it's for the first time like it's it's just a very weird unique position that you get put in as a comic book dealer it's constantly evolving i'm just eternally grateful for all of the support from you guys and just the ability to be able to do this um so thank you to everyone who, who has supported me thus far it's been a wild journey and it's just getting started thanks as always for sticking with me to the end we'll catch you in the next video bye